unofficially out in front by three points. Now the judges could have it uh, a little bit closer than that. Have Haley winning the first three rounds, Curry winning the fourth round, Haley winning the fifth round, Curry the sixth round, Haley the seventh round, Haley the eighth round. I had the ninth round even, the tenth round for Curry, the eleventh round even, and it's up to round twelve. It's going to take a big finish for Curry to win this fight and retain his title. Here we go. The crowd loves Leroy Haley. A bad cut over his left eye is the big story thus far. But he had Curry down on the canvas in the fifth round. But the referee, David Pearl, called it pushing him over. Although he was very well wobbled. He was wobbled in the later rounds a couple of times. Curry keeps shaking his head. No, he shouldn't even waste the energy. It's not us he has to prove it to. He's got to stop the man in front of him, Leroy Haley. And Curry needs the biggest finish he can possibly have to win the fight. Haley lost his title by running out of gas in the first fight. He's been slowed down by that cut a bit. He hasn't had anywhere near the aggressiveness he's had in the early going, but he's still plenty fresh air. He's trained for 12, and he's ready for 12. Both fighters have got to give them credit. They've fought their hearts out here. Curry was wobbled many times in the early going. And he's fought back gamely to stay in this fight. Officially, there have been no knockdowns in the fight at all. The crowd is very partisan towards Leroy Haley. This is the 12th and final round. Curry needs to finish very strong if he's to win this fight. It's a question of keeping him away from that cut. One minute to go in the WBC World Super Lightweight Championship fight. It's been approaching a great fight. It's been a real good one anyway. Curry nailed with a left hook. It's Haley that wants to finish strong. Both fighters trying to finish strong. Curry needs to finish very, very strong in order to win the fight. But Haley's doing the job inside of 30 seconds to go in the fight now. Good shot. Haley definitely looks to be the stronger inside of 10 seconds there'll be no knockout it was expected to go the distance and it has it's all over the crowd on its feet I think we might have a new champion we'll wait for the scoring will be done by Chuck Minker, Dwayne Ford, and Chris Jordan. Minker and Ford from here in Las Vegas, Jordan from Texas. We're going to have to wait for the official decision. We'll show you one of the final exchanges in the fight. Leroy Haley really nailing Curry and two nice left hooks. And that might have been just enough to give him the fight. Unofficially, I think we have a new champ. But my count doesn't mean a thing. Let's go to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall, for the decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge Chris Jordan scores 116 Curry, 114 Haley. Judge Chuck Maker scores 115 Haley, 113 Curry. Judge Dwayne Ford scores 115, 113 for the winner and still champion. has retained the title the scoring 115 113 on a split decision Chuck Minker had it in favor of Haley Dwayne Ford at 115 113 Curry Chris Jordan had 116 114 Curry and Curry has retained the championship with a split decision I thought the fight went the other way, personally speaking, and so did the crowd in attendance. The people, Carl King, Bill Present standing above me, they can't believe the decision. bunch of excitement here as Bruce Curry has won a split decision to retain his championship we're going to get Bruce Curry in here and we're going to attempt to get Leroy Haley or Carl King or somebody from that camp in the corner here to chat with him as well